Hello everyone and welcome to Miranda Detailing. So today I'm going to show you our detailing setup. I know I've had a lot of questions and comments about that and uh, so I've cleaned out our truck and organized it a little bit uh, because during the day it just gets messy. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we got going on in the truck. So here's our rig. It's a 2000 Ford Expedition and uh, it's actually an ex-police vehicle so it doesn't have any carpets in the inside it's all vinyl which is nice and no third row seat it just came with the middle seat that just folds flat so that's nice and uh, in here this is the passenger side uh, we have this setup where I took a 4x8 and cut it down to 4x6 and uh, pressure treated wood and built this whole uh, rig on it and back here you can see it's a 65 gallon tank that I have strapped down and I built this whole thing around it and it's all bolted down and I have these little snap holders to hold all of our 32 ounce bottles so you'll see some of our chemicals here pretty generic um, you know we used a lot of Meguiar's products um, just that one auto magic hydro shine product that we use for some of our basic maintenance it acts as a drying aid and does act as uh, as a, a wax on the on the vehicle lasts about four weeks maybe even more on daily drivers that that we uh, clean or used to clean um, every month so I do like that product it's the only auto magic product that I have and the rest are either Meguiar's I have 303 here I, I have a chemical guys product in here I just use that bottle and then I have 3d orange degreaser that I dilute at various dilution ratios depending on if I'm cleaning interiors or exteriors you see our assortment of interior brushes here uh, some that you've seen this one I use for dry dusting and then we have others that I use for uh, some of the wet cleaning to get gunk out of cup holders and things like that we have our drawer system here that I have the bottom drawer with miscellaneous items clay bar um, some of these scrub pads different brushes and accessories uh, little paint touch-up kits in here and then I have our microfiber towels that are categorized so glass cleaning exterior only interior only and I wash all of those separately of course keep them all separate and here I have a bunch of miscellaneous uh, different sprays that I use the optimum car wax and rain -X and a few other waxes and sealants that I have back there and then we have more brushes here just an assortment of them that I use for wheel cleaning and dressings and dusting inside and uh, carpet cleaning as well. So that's what we have on this side. And you're gonna see this table. This is actually a, one of those folding, I believe it's a two by three table. So it goes to a two by, or three by um, six, I believe. So that folds up in there and I have it tucked away so when I need it for carpet cleaning, I can take that right out. And then back here, I have it really stacked. So let me just take a second and remove all this stuff so you can see what I have going on. Okay, so I took some of those items out. We have our steamer, our McCulloch steamer that we use. I just have my stepladder here that I tuck away on the top. And then as you'll see, I have our pressure washer system that I have strapped down here. And this is actually an old engine from an old pressure washer that I got maybe six years ago or so. And I finally upgraded the pump and the recirculating system that I have. So I have the gravity fed water that goes from that water tank back here. And this is what I use. I have a couple of feet of hose that I strap down into that. And um, I mean that I, that I drilled into the top here and I fill the water tank from my garden hose. This is our vacuum hose, of course. So this is the recirculating line that I have, the line out from the pressure washer so I can keep this thing running and it doesn't overheat, which is really nice. It was an expensive system, but well worth it. So I have here our vacuum, our rigid vacuum. I love this thing and it's the newer model. Um, I used to have the other older model of this too and I've had it for years and years 
and this has the blower on top, which I don't use the blower to blow dry vehicles. I use it basically to clean up um, driveways and things like that before we park the vehicle there to clean it. That way we have a nice clean surface to work on. And as you've probably seen in some of the videos, some of my favorite attachments, the pet hair attachment and that long handle brush that I use. And I have these tools, these long nozzles that I actually buy well, this one came with the rigid, but this one here, I think I actually bought this one and a few other ones at thrift stores. And um, yeah, I'll just go to thrift stores locally. Oh, this one too. I, I've always liked these types of brushes and I've had tons of different ones throughout the years. So this is my current one. And sometimes I'll either forget them in a customer's vehicle, which is dumb, but I've done that. Some of my favorite ones. So this is my current favorite brush. And you can get this on Amazon too. I think it's like five or six bucks. I have the link down below for that. And of course my extractor that you may have seen the video for that. If you haven't, I'm gonna put it up there, a link, and you can check out the repair, the pump repair that I did on that. And then on the back here that I have attached so I don't have to have it in the truck, our 5,000 watt generator, our air compressor, and our air line hose, and of course an extra little uh, couple of gallon tank for fuel. And this genera uh, generator is awesome, by the way. It runs everything, the extractor, the vacuum, and that steamer all at once. And I believe it can even run the air compressor all at one time, which I had previous generators that could not handle just two of those things running at the same time. So this thing is awesome. Got it on Craigslist. So, again, I have some more chemicals here that I use. And uh, I use the Optimum No Rinse. I dilute that and I use that as a clay lubricant, the wheel cleaner, which that is not Meguiar's. It is the Nano Skin Wheel Bright Cleaner, their, their version of it that I like. Chemical Guys Bare Bones, a spray wax, another type of spray wax uh, detailer. And then I have my assortment of polishes, waxes, sealants here that I use. HD Speed, which I love. Jet Seal, Butter Wax, which I'll be switching from Butter Wax to something else. Because I like to test out things and use different products. So, the usual stuff here. And I need to get some more Black Wow Pro. And that you can actually buy on Amazon too, which is really nice. It's about 75 bucks. It is expensive, but that stuff is the pro version. It's really, really nice. Uh, then I have some of my assorted extension cords and my drill brush. I love this. I was um, uh, referred this brush and I had seen it before. I just kept forgetting to buy it. And uh, someone commented on one of our videos to get one of these and I did and love that. So thank you for referring that, uh, that wheel brush, uh, that drill brush. Uh, so here I have some of my gallons of pre-diluted, um, the shampoo, the citrus wash and gloss, and a few other multi-purpose cleaners there that I use. My blower right there, that little hand blower, which I need to upgrade that, get maybe a nicer one, because that one is starting to look kind of grungy and, and gross. And I do have this other little fold-up table also here that I use. And of course I bolted my 50 foot reel pressure washer hose and the gun set up and my phone cannon. So everything is nice and bolted and tucked away in here. So let's go around to the driver's side. And here I have the extractor hose here. I have a battery pack that I just recently got because sometimes customers vehicles would go dead if I left the door open for a long time and the light was on. That's happened before. And then I have a few other miscellaneous things up here. Um, the magic sponges, I have a, have a headlight restoration kit in here. And then I have some of our pads, compounding and polishing and waxing pads. Another drawer of miscellaneous things from chrome polishing, a few waxes in here, some sample products that I have, a few little tools that I may need uh, throughout the day. So that's miscellaneous stuff, and um, no, that's not oolong tea. <laughs> this is uh, 
I'm sure if I didn't explain this, people would be questioning why I have these things of oolong tea in here. But I like to buy these little pads on on Amazon again, and I believe it's the same type that Chemical Guys uses for their one of their uh, waxes that you can buy. I think it's the Pete's 53, that little kit with the jet seal and all that. And this this foam is really nice. It's it's actually pretty dense, and I use it for wax applications with paste wax. I love this. So I use this to keep it uh, stowed away and I can fit a bunch of those in there. And it just happens to fit nicely in this drawer. Okay, and then down below here, I have our polishers, my porta cable, my roofs back there, and a few other miscellaneous things. And my bag is my microfiber uh, apron that I use, and a few other little miscellaneous things in here. And here's the table from the other side that's folded up in here. And all I need to do is remove this, shift this aside, and I can pull this table out when I need it to clean carpets and our mats uh, when I'm shampooing them. And I have a few extra things here, an extra airline hose if I need it, and of course the chemicals from the other side stored away. So that's pretty much it for our detailing rig. All right guys, so that is it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. Please like the video, share it, subscribe to our channel. Again, always bringing you more videos of our work and repairs, all sorts of things. We're really trying to grow this channel, and I uh, hope you have a great day. Take care.